Today we're going to take a look at getting started with printing for RAD Scheduler. RAD Scheduler is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Windows Forms Control Suite. The RAD Scheduler control is a highly customizable appointment presentation component that offers rich Outlook style functionality. When used with Telerik Reminder and Desktop Alert for WinForms, you can add rich scheduling UI to any Windows Forms application and enjoy a lightweight yet highly customizable component. Today we're going to be look, taking a look at printing support in this control. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are, we're inside of Visual Studio 2010 and we have a WinForms project already created and inside of this project we've already added a couple of components to our screen here. So the first one that we've added has been a RAD scheduler navigator. This is going to allow us to go from day view to week to month to timeline view. We've also added a RAD scheduler control as well as a RAD print document control. And if we scroll over just a tad here, we can see that we've added two buttons. We've added a print preview and then we've added a tweak styles. This print preview button we're going to add code for in just a moment that will allow us to see what a print preview dialog looks like. And then of course we have a tweak styles button here that's going to allow us to tweak some of the styles programmatically to our RAD scheduler control. We're, also, we're going to also handle a couple of special events, but we'll get into those in just a second. If we run this application as is, then we'll be able to kind of get a taste of what the RAD schedule control has to offer. So we can switch from day view to week view to month view to timeline view. We're just going to go back to where we were at with week view. And from here, we can go ahead and we could toggle a show weekend to adding the weekend back on here. We can of course toggle through the different weeks as well if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and add in some code for our very first button which is the print preview command. We can add this functionality in with one line of code. So I'm going to go this dot rad scheduler one dot print preview and I'm going to tie it to a this.radprintdocument1. So if we run our application now with just that one line of code and we click print preview, then you will see this print preview dialog appears. Let's go ahead and expand that and take a look at each of these options. So the first button here is going to simply allow us to print the current document. We can send it to any sort of printer that we have listed on our machine. Next up is the print dialogs. And while we're inside of print dialogs, we're going to explore this watermark feature here. So the format is asking us which print style would you like to use? Would you like to use daily style, weekly, monthly, or details? I'm just going to select daily style here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to set a watermark while we're inside of this dialog box. So the watermark text, we'll just set this to confidential and we're going to change the font here to maybe something like a 30. We'll change the color to this red color and we'll go ahead and we'll set the rotation to maybe a 14 and just for fun we're going to kind of center this in the middle of the page. Now that that's in place, we could have also added in a picture if we had wanted to. So I'm going to select OK here. And you can see from our print settings, we can also specify the date range if we wanted to from different style settings, from a date header font to the appointment font. There's also a couple of other miscellaneous print settings that we can change here as well. If we click on paper, it's asking us for the page type and of course you can set your margin and orientation. Finally on the header and footer I've added a couple of custom items here where we can take a look at what this looks like on a printed document. We have a time printed then we just have a subject here and I've just named this a weekly task list. We have the date printed and then down at the bottom we have a page number of total pages we have a few asterisks here for the middle and then finally a printed by 
user name. If we go ahead and we hit preview here, you'll see it'll generate the preview again, and we now have our confidential. Now that we've covered these three, we can go to our pages, and you can see we can go to the next page, we can go to the previous page, and we can also zoom in if we wanted to, or we can zoom out. We can also use this drop down here to specify the zoom in, zoomed out percentage level. And then finally, we can set the page layout, and in this example, I'm just going to use 2 by 3 and we'll zoom back out to where we were at before and you can see where we had specified the time, the name, weekly task list, finally the date and if we scroll down you can see the page number here with the asterisk and then the user that it was printed by. Let's go ahead and let's add in the code now and make some changes to the styling. So I'm going to go back to our code behind page and I'm going to go underneath tweak styles and I'm going to drop in a code snippet. Now this code snippet is going to be using the scheduler print style class and we're going to instantiate a new scheduler daily print style. We're going to set the print style to what we just defined earlier the date range is actually going to start with today and then it's going to add three days after that. So in this case we're only going to be printing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We're going to set the date heading font and the page heading font and we're also going to show lined notes area and the notes area. Now this would be in case uh, your user added notes to the days on the RAD scheduler control. Finally, we're going to set the print preview equal to a this dot rad print document one, just like we did before. So if we run our application again, and we click on our tweak styles, and we expand this, the first thing that you're going to see is that we specified a date start range and a date end range, and we can see Thursday is the last date here we can go back to our first date here and you can see that the date heading font and then the page heading font has been changed and we can zoom in to see those changes and then finally we added a show line notes area and a show notes area and those have are visible right here so now that we took a look at a couple of styles that we can tweak programmatically Let's talk a little bit about special events. So the RAD scheduler provides a set of events that allows you to customize the appearance of printed elements. Let's take a look at our first one, which is cell print element formatting. And if we just switch back to our designer window here, and we click on our RAD scheduler control, and we go to events, and let's just scroll down just a bit here, you can see the two events that we're going to focus on today, the first one being cell print element formatting. So if we just double click on this, you'll see that we now have an event handler. And so for this first sample, what we're going to do is we're going to set different colors for cells with even and odd hours. So I'm going to paste in a code snippet that I have. And you can see very, very simple here. Um, we're doing an e dot cell element dot draw fill equals to true. Then we're doing a couple of checks here, and then we're going to determine what color the back color is going to be. So either we're going to have a yellow green or this cornflower blue. While we're in here, we might as well go ahead and handle the cell print element paint event. So this event fires when a cell print element is being formatted before it is printed. So we have a few lines of code that I'm going to paste in. And in this sample, we're going to draw a hatch if it is 12 o'clock, which basically means it's a lunch break. So if e.cellElement.Date.Hour is equal to 12, then we're going to use this brush here, and we're going to create a new hatch brush. 
we're going to set it to backwards diagonal, the color white, color transparent, E dot graphics dot fill rectangle, B with our E dot bounds. So if we go ahead and we run the application now, I'm just going to take our very first button, which was our print preview. Now that I've taken the print preview, let's just go ahead and let's switch this over to daily view where you can see this a little bit easier. So we're now on our daily style and I hit preview and we'll expand our window here and we'll zoom in. So you can see here that our hours now have been set to different colors for even and odd hours and we also have the hatch in the 12 o'clock time period which is basically indicating that it is lunch. So thanks again for watching and please tune in to tv.telleric.com for more videos and check out blogs.telleric.com for the latest news and announcements.